it gives me an immense pleasure to welcome our chief guest professor nilofar khan honorable vice chancellor university of kashmir professor farooq ahmed masoodi worthy dean academic affairs dr nisar ahmed mir worthy registrar university of kashmir other dignitaries learned colleagues my dear students for gracing this occasion this event is a part of an initiative to honor the country's struggle for independence and its impressive rise as a world power azadi ka amrit mahotsav is a 75 week celebration of the spirit of independence under this broad theme a series of events have been organized at national level to bring and focus the rapid pace made by the country over the past 75 years educational institutions throughout the country have undertaken a number of events with a view to promote the objectives of this maha utsav today's event is essentially a part of exercise to celebrate this spirit of independence with a constructive purpose of deliberating upon the background and importance of the national flag this event would showcase interesting facts about the background of national flag it will highlight various factors which played a key role in the shaping up the national flag moreover the participants will shed light on the role of honorable supreme court of india in recognizing the right to fly national flag as a part of freedom of speech and expression as enshrined in article 19 of the constitution of india furthermore the main postulate of the flag code would be averted to and highlighted for respecting national symbols like the national flag i am optimistic that this exercise would be highly stimulating in fostering respect for the national symbols and inculcating the zeal for respecting national and cultural ethos this program on the theme background and the importance of the national flag has been organized by the school of law in continuation of a series of events undertaken by the department during the current academic year this program was organized keeping in view the importance of the national flag and its relevance in the kindling nationalistic ethos and the traditions this program is not one of activity that school of law has organized rather the school of the law frequently organizes debates seminars quizzes and workshops on all different legal and social aspects i would like to assure my my students and scholars that the school of law is committed towards providing our students a holistic ecosystem in the realm of teaching and academic research the late prime minister pandit jawahar lal nehru called it a flag not only of freedom for ourselves but a symbol of freedom to all the people the indian national flag flag represents india's long struggle for freedom it signifies status of india as an independent republic The history of the flag dates back to the pre-independence era. It was between 1904 and 1906 that the first Indian flag came into existence. This flag came to be known as Sister Nivedita's flag. After this flag, another flag was designed in 1906. It was a tricolor with equal strip strips. The yellow strip had Vande Mataram in Devangri script. In the same year. Another version of flag was created. It was unfurled on 7th August in Kolkata. This was known as on 22nd July 1947 the Indian national flag was officially hoisted. Its stripes remained the same saffron, white and green, but the spinning wheel was replaced by a blue chakra, the dharm chakra, the wheel of law. The 1947 flag continues to be used by India still today. The Indian national flag represents the hope and aspirations of the people of India. It is a symbol of our national pride and there is universal affection and respect and loyalty to the national flag. 
it occupies a unique and special place in the emotions of the people of india the hosting use display of the national flag is governed by the prevention of insults to national honor act 1971 and the flag code of act india 2002 the flag code of india 2002 has been divided into three parts part first of the code contains general description of the national flag part second of the code is devoted to the display of the national flag by the members of the public private organizations educational institutions and extra part third of the code relates to the display of the national flag by central and state government and their organizations and agencies some of the salient features of the flag code of india 2002 are the national flag of india shall be made of hand spun hand wood or machine made cotton wool silk khadi the national flag shall be rectangular in shape the flag can be of any size but the ratio of the length to the height of the flag shall be 3 is to 2 there shall be no restrictions on the display of the national flag by the members of the general public private organizations educational institutions etc how whenever the national flag is displayed it should occupy the position of honor and should be distinctly placed a damaged or disfigured flag should not be displayed a flag should not be flown from a single mast and simultaneously with any other flag or flags the flag should be flown on any vehicle should not be flown on any vehicle except of the dignitaries such as president vice president governor prime minister etc no other flag should be placed higher than or side by side or above with the national flag thanks a lot the indian national flag is perceived as a symbol of alliance to one's nation and is an emotion it has to be honored and respected by every individual of the country and hosting flying national flag should not be only allowed to government officials or dignitaries in the case of union of india versus navin jindal the petitioner navin jindal a citizen of india was prevented from flying the national flag above his office under the flag code of india he filed petition before high court that he was being restricted from doing so he pleaded that uh, flying national flag is his fundamental right under article 191a he also pleaded that allowing only the officials and high dignitaries to fly the national flag would be discriminatory for the rest of the people under article 14 as everyone is entitled to fly the national flag the high court pronounced that the flag code is only an instruction given by the government and not an statute after that union of india filed an appeal a petition before supreme court seeking an answer to above mentioned query to which supreme court ruled that every country has its rules and regulations regulating uh, flag and flag code of a country too is a regulating guide so that the glory of flag is maintained and no individual disrespects or dishonored it but it does not mean that the people are not permitted to fly the national flag only out of the fear that they they may disrespect it so supreme court held that flying national flag falls under article 191a of constitution of india which speaks about freedom of speech and expressions but with some certain restrictions as it is said that every citizen of india must remember that he is an indian and he has every right in this country but with certain duties and respecting national flag is a fundamental duty of every citizen under article 51a we says Indian constitution has imposed a non-binding duty upon its citizens to respect and adhere to the constitution and national flag of the country and to safeguard the honor of national flag and maintain its dignity the government of india has passed an act the prevention of insults of national honors amendment act 2003 and under this act whosoever dishonors lays down the dignity and reputation of our national flag will be sentenced for jail up to 3 years or fine or with both so it's our duty to love our country and respect our uh, national flag so i conclude my speech with this line rozana nahi lekin aaj ye kaam kare 
रोजाना नहीं आज ये काम करे जहां कहीं तिरंगा नजर आए सर उठाकर सलाम करे थैंक यू सर वेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग द नेशनल फ्लैग हेयर टूडे वी ऑल नो दैट द नेशनल फ्लैग वट द स्टूडेंट ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट इट दैट इट रिप्रेजेंट डिफरेंट थिंग्स इट हैज कम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस प्रायर टू अवर इंडिपेंडेंस बिफोर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन सो वी ऑल मस्ट एज स्टूडेंट्स एज द रिस्पॉन्सिबल सिटीजन वी ऑल मस्ट नो द रीजन लॉजिक एंड जेनेसिस ऑफ अवर नेशनल फ्लैग मोस्ट ऑफन वट वी सी दैट at times we are being asked questions in interviews also that why our national flag has a wheel what is this wheel called we call it as ashok chakra why it is ashok chakra because we say that ashoka's inscription is where mostly in the wheel structure then we say why it is 24 spokes there we say that 24 spokes are because uh, it represents some say it re- represents the wheel of time what we call the 24 hours some say it represents the wheel of duty what we say that we have to do du- we have to be duty bound for our nation 24 hours then some say why it is blue hai eh, na so it is said that the blue represents the sky the ocean and the truth so ultimately this flag has every inch of this flag ra- rather every nano inch of this flag has a Motu has a reason and has a logic to fly high. We are morally as well as duty bound to respect and honor our national flag. See, our students did narrate many things about the historical background of our national flag. Probably in 1857. Yes, 1857, and then it was known as probably. Uh, the flag of freedom struggle 1800 1857 mein us waqt isko flag of freedom kaha jata tha and after that lot of transformations did take place and the form in which it exists at present as uh, our uh, friend dr nisar also said that different components of the flag it has meanings so the uh, one of the major feature is that three colors of the flag which represent two major communities of the country and white represents the other say those who designed the flag how conscious they were about all these things about a sort of cohesion between different communities which is very essential for growth for progress of any uh, nation any uh, country and then one more thing i would like to share with you there is a difference between flag hoisting and unfurling of the flag there is some difference once we uh, hoist the flag on 15th of august and what uh, the way we hoist it on or unfurl it on 26th of january in one case uh, when we hoist it it's uh, we pull up the flag and then it gets unfurled at the top of that flag post and then unfurling we unfurl it on uh, it means when the uh, our constitution was finalized i suppose these things our students must and especially the department of law uh, you too are all your uh, these faculty as well as the students you are duty bound to educate all of us about the historical background and other features of uh, this national flag i really appreciate uh, the efforts of this uh, this department in just uh, for arranging or having this session in this morning Uh, we thank we sincerely thank all of you the faculty of the department as well as the students thank you very much uh, a great occasion for us in order to celebrate azadi ka amrit mahotsav in our university celebrating 75 years of independence uh, you must have seen for last few days uh we have organized different programs yesterday we had a very uh, i must say a very uh, you know uh, uh display of creativity talent and vision of our students in a painting competition again where azadi ka amrit mahotsav you know ideas were depicting uh, depicted in painting 
and it was really worth seeing because uh, we had not given any time for them to prepare it it was again at a very short notice because we wanted to see uh, you know uh, instantly what type of uh, you know creativity students can put in their painting uh, i must say a very successful session we had yesterday i must praise the department of law faculty of law uh, you know and our students not only who participated but again all who are present here who really uh, gave a very thought provoking and uh, a very uh, you know uh, although uh, you know in a very short time uh, the importance of our uh, national flag in fact myself i came to know about some facts which i was not knowing very correctly Allah said Allah. yes very correctly said by our dean academic affairs the duty of department of law is not only to educate uh, you know yes, uh, yes. their own students that's uh, the, uh, you know law students about the importance of our uh, national flag and other uh, you know important topics where they should deliberate not only for the faculty even for the students yes. so in future we do expect whatever cooperation you want from the authorities will definitely do it uh, we do want such type of program should be uh, a permanent feature of uh, department of law as i always say that department of law or the faculty of law has a great role uh, in our society because they are the law makers and law is a very essential component to govern a society so therefore you know these types of activities are uh, very important i was uh, you know uh, very happy to hear to all the three uh, you know speakers the way they had prepared themselves and tried to you know put forth to this gathering uh, the importance of our national flag for which we all have all respect and all uh, emotions for it because uh, it is a very important part not of uh, society but our of our life and uh, we as citizens of india have got this duty uh, to educate our children uh, in at our homes in schools in educational institutions whether it's colleges or universities about to tell them about the importance of uh, our national flag i will not uh, you know go into details about its various components because it's already been said but i do expect from <coughs> department of law that such activities not only at this special occasion are uh, you know uh, organized but in future also there is a significance of red fort in respect of the indian uh, tricolor the significance is that the chief of the indian national army subhash chandra bose gave a call chalo delhi <coughs> that was a call to all the indians to to show a campaign of resistance <coughs> you know that in red fort three martyrs who were called the colonials of indian national army one was a muslim another was a hindu and the third was a sikh they were tried inside the red fort in the deep well the deep well is uh, a symbol of mughal rule so they were tried there and they were imprisoned there <coughs> so their trial used to go uh, right in 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 the red fort so the campaign was started uh, to show a resistance and uh, in a way hoist the flag on the red fort so that was the uh, in fact in aspirational why red fort has a historical significance the of course code is there the indian flag code it um, uh, gives three descriptions first part of the code gives description of what is the flag as mm. rightly said my stu by my student that one of the uh, flags that was presented initially to gandhi ji it contained red strip the flag which was presented by that lecturer and the idea was that it represents the sacrifices of the two religions especially and afterwards definitely uh, a 
committee, Indian flag committee, was uh, headed by one of the presidents of India, Rajendra Prasad. Uh, it is in that flag ultimately you find uh, that Charkha, Charkha, the Gandhian Charkha was replaced by Chakra. Chakra is what you find on the loin, Ashoka loin. It is, of course, with 24 strips. Uh, and it represents the that there is life in movement, M-O-V-E-M-E-N-T, but death in stagnation.